Hi folks and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Tomorrow we're heading down to our trailer on the Grand River. We're getting together with some friends. We're going golfing and then we're going to do a potluck. I'm putting together a nice pasta sauce. It's going to be filled with vegetables and I'm going to put together a lovely meatball stuffed with mozzarella cheese. Let's get to our sauce first. So in a large pot, I'm starting out with 100 ounces of San Marzano tomatoes. Some of the best tomatoes that you'll find. You want to put these in and use your hands or a potato masher to mash them up a little bit. You know what makes a magnificent sauce is doing it the day or two before and cooking it slowly. Once I put in all my ingredients here, I'll cook it nice and slow. Two, three, four hours. How much time do you have? At least two hours. But I'll let this sit on here all afternoon. And that'll give me time to make my meatballs. So to our tomatoes, we're gonna add a 13 ounce can of tomato paste. Now, if you want to cut this down in half, this recipe, all you simply have to do is buy some smaller cans of tomatoes, like these ones here, they're 28 ounce. Just use two of these and divide all these ingredients by half. Next, we're going to put Onions, finely diced. I have one white large onion. One yellow bell pepper, one green bell pepper, finely diced. I have eight cremini mushrooms chopped up here. One zucchini. Zucchini is a great addition to any red sauce. It'll just absorb the flavors. And carrots. I've grated these carrots in a hand grater. And they'll not only give you more veg, more fiber, but it will sweeten up the sauce. Oregano. I've got three tablespoons. Italian seasoning. Three tablespoons. I've got three bay leaves, a teaspoon or two teaspoons each of salt and pepper. You can always season it more at the end. I've got three finely diced cloves of garlic, fresh from our garden yesterday, and also fresh from our garden yesterday. I have some fresh basil, just finely chopped up, beautiful aroma. We'll mix that all up, bring it to a little bit of a boil, then let it simmer with the lid on. We'll let it sit, check on it every half an hour, give it a stir, and that's it. Let's get to our meatballs stuffed with mozzarella cheese. So let's make our delicious meatballs. To start off, if you want a nice moist meatball, I have three slices of cubed bread. To that, we're going to add two thirds a cup of milk. We'll get those all nice and moist and wet. And then we'll set these aside and we'll add them to all the rest of our spices and so on once they've got softened up nicely. Next, we're going to start off with a tablespoon and a half of garlic powder, tablespoon and a half of onion powder two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, three quarters of a tablespoon of oregano, one teaspoon each of salt and pepper. There's lots of salt and set in the Parmesan that we're gonna add and the ketchup that we're gonna add. So we don't need lots of salt. To this, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of ketchup. 
One cup of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And our bread's starting to look nice and wet now, so we'll get that in there. We'll mix this up well. I'm going to add some eggs. Three eggs. I've got three pounds of lean ground beef going into this. And the eggs help bind our meatballs. So in with my three well-beaten eggs. Get all our flavors all mixed well. I find doing this prior to putting in your beef, you get all the flavors mixed nice and evenly. It's not a real pretty slurry in here, but it's going to give us a nice moist meatball with terrific flavors. Looks like the bread is pretty well spread out nice and evenly now. So now I'll add my three pounds of lean ground beef. I'll mix this up real well. I'll get my hands in here. And then next we'll roll up some meatballs and stuff them with mozzarella cheese. I have a pan ready for the oven that's lightly greased. My mozzarella cheese is cut up into one inch cubes. We'll roll up our meatball. Press an opening down for it, your cheese. Put a cube in and roll it up. It's that simple. The sauce has been simmering for almost two hours now. The last half hour or so, I'll leave that top just slightly off, just to get rid of some of the moisture. And now, it's time to get the meatballs in. 400 degrees, we want to brown these up nicely, so we'll flip them halfway through. We want to make sure all the pink is gone in the center. Let's get them in the oven. These are pretty big meatballs. I left them in for 20 minutes. I'm going to flip them now and get them back in. Another 15 or 20 and I think they'll be ready. Oh, oh my. I know they're for tomorrow for the potluck, but I got to try one with a little bit of my sauce on it. There it is, all plated up. Oh my, that looks delicious. It's time to try it out. The meatballs and the sauce are all done. I think it's gonna work out great tomorrow for our potluck down at the river. But now, I get to try the goods. The mozzarella cheese, you can see it just oozing out. Let's give it a whirl. Very juicy. I have my sauce, a little bit of my sauce in there, a little mushroom on the side. Oh, so tender and moist. That's the way to make a meatball. Well, folks, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red button and every Monday you'll be notified when I come out with a new video. Well, thanks for watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya.